technical name for it is a plasmograph, and I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Ples- pleasure McGrath. Pl- pl- no, pl- no, pled- plethysmograph. Plesma- plethysmograph. I don't yeah. know why you have trouble saying that. Yeah, I don't know what either. Here, go ahead, say that word. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a plethysmograph. 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 Peter meter. Let's uh, get rid. It's a plethysmograph. <laughs> okay, that's the worst word in the English. It's a language. horrible word. You know what? Along with niggardly, it gets banned today. <laughs> From now on, that will only be known as a Peter meter. Uh, and it, what did uh, what the Peter meter does is it measures a, s- a dick stick. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I'm just saying. I got, we got so many bleeps on this show. This is supposed to go to this yeah. anyway. Uh, it's supposed to measure the circumference of your cock. <laughs> <laughs> Some chance we're going to bleep that, too. Uh, as a gauge of sexual arousal. Now, this is a real scientific measure. Right. This is not playing. Right. right. We, all, we, we don't have to explain it. Everybody gets what Everybody we, gets we, Everybody sees what So the four-minute samples of the of the uh, straight movie, the gay movie, and the lesbian movie. And, uh, you know, the straight movie, they were all turned on the same degree. Lesbian movie, the, and this is all, of course, roughly, but within the variable uh, of the study, uh, the lesbian movie, they were all turned on the same, all 64 of the men, right? But the degree of tumescence, mm-hmm. which is, you know... Strength. Uh, the circumference, how uh, much right, your circumference right. grew. Uh, they measured as insignificant, moderate, or definite. Mm-hmm. And for the non-homophobic men, during the gay movie, remember it was the same for the other two, during the gay uh, male gay movie, uh, it was 66% were insignificant. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10% were moderate, and 24% were definite. Interesting. So, twenty-four percent of those guys, a little too messed. <laughs> they were a little too messed. Yeah, how, did they, how did they growth. determine their homophobia uh, prior to the showing them the movies? Remember, they took the index, the index of homophobia. They asked some questions, oh, asking questions, and so that's how they determined. Right, all and all right, right. they got a sense of whether they had some fear, anxiety, anger, or discomfort okay. in homosexuality. So, the non-homophobic band, sixty-six percent so insignificant. One in four had had a reaction. A little bit of a no, a definite reaction actually. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the homophobic men. The homophobic men. Oh, this was the non-homophobic. One in four non-homophobic. Those were the non-homophobic. The homophobic men, uh, two messes, degree of two messes, 20% insignificant. Okay, mm, Much lower number. 20%. Moderate, 26%. Mm-hmm. 26% moderately turned on by the gay movie, Man and Men Love. Definite, two messes. Mm-hmm. Definite growth of the circumference, mm-hmm. 54%. Shocking. Fifty-four percent. Not a big number. That's a big two messes. <laughs> okay. And remember, non-homophobic men was twenty-four percent, which I thought was kind of a significant number to begin with. Yeah, you got to like those guys for ads for just uh, they don't care. Uh huh. I mean, they answered the question. They're like, no, I got a problem with gay people. Oh, look, it's a gay movie. Yeah, look, I'm turned on. <laughs> That's twenty-four percent. Sixty-six percent were not turned on at all. Right. They weren't playing. But the other guys are like, oh, I hate the gays. I hate the gays. I hate the gays. Oh damn. Uh uh. <laughs> Perhaps not as much. <laughs> you know, by the way, I don't know if that. I knew that this was the test that was going to... I mean, you want to talk about talking about Jeff Reardon with your pants off? <laughs> there are three times before I go in there. I'm not taking any chances. I don't want any two messes. <laughs> you know, I, it's, uh, it's a little... I don't know what that study proves because I think there are plenty of guys who would get aroused by a sex scene in some capacity. And, and it doesn't mean that they have ben, any desire to go have sex with ben, a guy. Jeff, please, ben. <laughs> I mean, I, I think you're tipping your hand here. I don't know. I'm not saying anything. I'm just, it's, you know, then it's okay. It's-